The life and sad ending of Karen Grassel. Karen Grassel was born Karen Trust Grassel on February 25, 1942, in Berkeley, California, the U.S. Her father, Jean Grassel, ran a gas station and her mother managed a restaurant. She was known as the Miracle Baby in her family because previous to her birth, her mother had four miscarriages. After graduating high school, she attended the University of California, Berkeley, where she studied English and drama. She then went on to study at the famed Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. In 1968, Karen Grassel made her first appearance on the Broadway stage in the drama, The Gingham Dog. While the run of the play only lasted a few days, it led to other stage roles for her. Grassel appeared in the New York Shakespeare Festival's 1970 production of Cymbeline among other productions. In the late 1960s, hoping to boost her career, briefly changed her professional name to Kay Dillinger, claiming to be the illegitimate offspring of the notorious 1930s bank robber. Karen Grassel made the move to television in the mid-1970s. Using the name Gabriel Tree at the time, she auditioned for a new television series about a pioneer family living on the American frontier in the 1870s. It was based on the autobiographical books by Laura Ingalls Wilder. She beat out more than 40 other actresses for the role of Caroline Ingalls. Michael Landon played her husband and Melissa Gilbert played her middle child Laura. Melissa Sue Anderson had the role of her oldest daughter, Mary, and the part of the youngest child, Carrie, was shared by twin sisters Lindsay and Sidney Greenbush. It has been said that Landon convinced Grassel to return to using her given name. Little House on the Prairie debuted in the fall of 1974. While some critics found the show overly sweet and cloying, audiences loved it. They enjoyed watching the Ingalls as they struggled to overcome the challenges of pioneer life and interact with the other various residents of Walnut Grove, Minnesota. Grassel's character Caroline was the glue that held the family together, helping with the farming and looking after the girls. She and Landon left the series in 1982 and the show continued as Little House on the Prairie, a new beginning, but it only lasted another year. On television, she starred in and co-wrote the NBC TV film Battered. Other TV movies include Cocaine, One Month Seduction, Crisis in Midair, and Between the Darkness and the Dawn. In episodic TV, she starred in Hotel, Love Boat, and Murder She Wrote. She also appeared on Hollywood Squares and numerous talk shows such as Dinah, Merv Griffin, Mike Douglas, and John Davidson. During this period, she lobbied for federal funding for shelters for battered women and appeared in many events to support the Equal Rights Amendment. After the series ended, she moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and became co-founder and artistic director of Santa Fe's Resource Theater Company. Later she moved to Louisville, Kentucky, where she performed with the company of actors at Actors Theater of Louisville. Grassel continues to perform in productions in San Francisco, Berkeley, and Palo Alto as well as tours and productions such as Driving Miss Daisy in the starring role of Miss Daisy at the Manitoba Theatre Centre in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada in a co-production with Rubicon Theatre and at the Riverside Centre for the Performing Arts in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Grassel also worked behind the scenes, helping found the Resource Theatre Company in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Continuing to pursue her love of acting, she appeared in numerous regional and touring productions, including a 2007 tour of the Pulitzer Prize-winning play, Driving Miss Daisy. In 2008, she was awarded a prize for her performance in Cabaret at the San Francisco Playhouse. Over the years, she has appeared in commercials such as the promotional face for Premier Bathrooms, a supplier of bathing products for the elderly and infirm. In personal life, Karen Grassel got married and divorced thrice. She first got married to Leon Russom in 1966. In 1970, they divorced. Her second husband was James Radford. The two were married from 1982 to 1987. 
They adopted one daughter. In 1991, she married Scott Sutherland. The union ended up in divorce six years later. Contrary to her exposure on the screen, Grassle lives a very private life. She has no social media platforms. Politically, she is a diehard Liberal Democrat supporter. She is currently residing with her daughter in Pacific Palisades in California. Karen Grassle has always championed the rights of women and children. Though she never had any biological children of her own, she continues to support many through charity. In 1998, Grassle was inducted into the Hall of Fame of the Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Her life has genuinely mirrored the role of the mother she played as Caroline Ingalls. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Karen Grassle. Like and comment on your opinion in the comments section below.